While the first dragons seen in this franchise were Drogon, Viserion and Rhaegal, the origins of these majestic beasts date back thousands of years in the past. They were first brought to Westeros, the western continent of that world by Aegon Targaryen and his sisters. And the dragons that came along with them were Beleriand the Black Dread, Vhagar and Miraxes. Then by the time of the House of the Dragon around 120 years after Aegon's conquest, there were around 20 of these flying giant creatures. And as the showrunners have confirmed, they have diverged into three different breeds in the show. So what are their origins and how did they evolve? There are various origin stories laid forth in the books for the dragons of that world. The Valyrians one is the most common. It is said that in the Fourteen Fires, a line of volcanoes that spanned the neck of the Valyrian Peninsula, their ancestors discovered the eggs of the first known dragons. These dragons were tamed by the Valyrians, who were at first peaceful shepherds and then turned into the dragon riders we see today. They even learned how to control and ride them as war animals. Then in the show House of the Dragon, the second episode, we are given a hint that Valyria was nestled in the crater of an active volcano which is linked to the magic of the dragons. Also it was said that the mages perform blood magic so that the riders and the dragons are bonded by both fire, magic and blood. Hence why only people from Valyrian descent can ride them. In another origin story, according to the legends in Koth, a city in the far east of the continent of Essos, a second moon in the sky was scorched by the sun and it split like an egg and let loose a million dragons which came down to earth and made it their home. Further east, there is a different story and these dragons are thought to have originated in the islands of the Jade Sea and maybe the Shadowlands beyond Ashai, summoned to the world by dark and blood magic. But according to legends from Ashai, before disappearing from history, an unidentified people first tamed these dragons and transported them to Valyria and taught the Valyrians how to bond with them and ride the beasts. But the most interesting origin story of the dragons is that they were bred and hybridized using magic by the Valyrians in the land of the Fourteen Fires. They are thought to be a mix of wyverns and fireworms. The first one, the wyverns, are a species of animal that lived in Sotherius or the southern continent and are akin to dragons although they do not breathe fire. They have leathery wings, cruel beaks and an insatiable hunger. The fireworms, however, are creatures that breathe fire but have no wings and are possibly related to dragons. They can bore through rock soil and love to be underground and they have been found in Valyria long before the dragons came to be in that place. So if we think for a minute here like really think about it, we can see why this theory has such an appeal. The wyverns are winged creatures with two wings and two short legs and long tails but yet they can't breathe fire and they have beaks which are notable differences because dragons have mouths with rows of sharp teeth. The fireworms, however, were serpentine creatures that although can breathe fire, had no wings and were either limbless or had short arms and legs. So if the Valyrians were to combine or with magic breathe the two species, the resultant offspring would carry on the characteristics of its different parents. Hence the dragons would look like wyverns in having wings and legs, have serpentine bodies like fireworms and breathe fire just as the latter does and also love to make their homes in caves or underground. So take your pick on your preferred origin story. Let's get to the other elephant in the room, the different breeds of dragons. So while these dragons are enormous fire breathing winged reptiles with long serpentine bodies that have two long forelimbs with wings and two short back legs and the entire body is covered with scales. There are notable differences however between individuals, like very different, as in St. Bernard versus Chihuahua or Pomeranian difference, uh, with not just size but the body design and even skull structure. So the question now rises, how did they come to be different and what are the differences? Well the first dragons that actually came to Westeros, to Dragonstone, were Balerion and four others that were unnamed. So when the Targaryens resettled on Dragonstone to escape the doom of Valyria, they took five dragons along with them. But four of these later died, leaving only Balerion the Black Dread, the only dragon that was born in the Valyrian Peninsula. However, the other dragons did leave behind eggs, from which hatched Miraxes and Vhagar. 
These two dragons might have come from two different stocks that had a different body design as well as temperament and size. So, since the showrunners have said that there are three different breeds of dragons, it is safe to presume that Beleriand, Miraxis and Vagar were different breeds and from them came their own respective lineage of dragon birds. So how different are they? Well, they do have the same abilities and general characteristics since they are the same species, but the differences come in the skull shape, body design, wings and tail. Drogon and the other two are said to look like Beleriand, so this breed had a robust body with massive wings and have heads that are shaped like a T-Rex or a dinosaur with horns all over. The second breed is the one with the wolf-like skull and maybe has a serpentine body as in the case of Caraxes and if I may add, Miraxes, since we can cancel out Vega to be having a worm-like body appearance. The third breed would have a skull that is somewhere in between a canine and a dinosaur, more like a horse and this breed would have a body design similar to the first Beleriand breed but not as scaly or robust and with lesser horns and sharp outgrowths as we can see in the case of Vagar and Cyrax in the show House of the Dragon. And so with that we come to the end of it. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video on the different breeds of dragons and their origins. So do hit that like button for support, subscribe and ring that bell icon for regular updates on new videos here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.